Today, I'm going to tell you all about the different eateries and restaurant options on board the Margaritaville at Sea Paradise. I'm going to show you video of the spaces and also menus. If you want to find out if you can get a cheeseburger in paradise, please keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you are having a splendid day today and if you're new here, welcome. We just got off the Margaritaville at Sea Paradise yesterday. This was my second time on the ship. I was also on the inaugural sailing and once again, we had a very, very good time. I think this is a great option for a two night getaway. It's not very expensive and right now they are offering a two for one deal. So you pay for one passenger and the other one gets to go for free. They have been running this deal quite often, so be sure to check the website if you are interested in trying this brand new cruise line. We paid around $450 total for two people for an ocean view cabin. This is an older ship, so basically your options are interior cabin or ocean view because they only have a handful of balconies. But this was a pretty good deal for two nights. It included our cabin, of course, and it also included meals in the buffet and the main dining room. And this sailing is even cheaper if you can go during the week. Keep in mind, Margaritaville at Sea is a brand new cruise line, so I'm just giving you the information from my sailing. It is possible that the cruise line could change things moving forward. Before we dive in, please give this video a thumbs up if you like cruising videos, and I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I put out fresh content regularly, and I would absolutely love it if you would join my traveling party. So let's talk about the two options that are included with your cruise fare first. First, we have the Port of Indecision Buffet, and this is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it is also your only lunch option on embarkation day. So I'm happy to report that when we were on board, we saw a vast improvement in the options in the buffet. If you watched my earlier videos, I wasn't too impressed with the offerings in the buffet. I felt like the choices were quite limited, and I thought that they could do better. It seems like they listened to feedback from me and other passengers on the cruise because on this sailing there were a lot more options. They had burgers, dogs, and french fries. They also had a carving station, but this time around they also had a made-to-order pasta station which was very, very good. I also noticed quite a few more selections including more sandwiches and more salads. And then of course they had a few hot options, things like shrimp curry and fried chicken and a few hot side dishes. Overall, I was much, much happier with the buffet on this sailing. Oh, and they also have soft serve ice cream available. It's kind of tucked away in a corner, but it is available, so definitely look for it. We ate in the buffet for lunch for two days and overall it was much improved. We did not eat there for breakfast or for dinner, so I can't comment on the options there. But if you've tried the Port of Indecision buffet for either breakfast or dinner, leave a comment below and tell me how you liked it. The buffet is open from 6 a.m. until 11 a.m. for breakfast. And then it is open from 11.30 a.m. until 9 p.m. for lunch and dinner. From 3.30 p.m. until 5 p.m., they have a very limited selection, mostly snacks. And something new on this sailing, from 11.30 p.m. until 12.30 a.m., they have some late night options. On our sailing, they had deli sandwiches and desserts for the late night options. 
Not great, but better than nothing. I wish they would have had something like a nacho bar because after you've been wasting away in Margaritaville, I don't think anybody really wants a turkey sandwich. But this is nice because it is free and included with your cruise fare. So you don't have to go buy a pizza or get a burger at the five o'clock somewhere bar. The other restaurant that is included with your cruise fare is Finn's main dining room. And there are two seatings for Finn's. You can choose either the 6 to 6.30 p.m. seating or the 8.30 to 9 p.m. seating. And you can arrive anytime during that 30 minute window. This is great because Jimmy's Ship Show, which I love, is at eight o'clock and it is 45 minutes. So if you pick the 8.30 to 9 p.m. window, you can attend the show and then still make dinner. So now let's look at the menus for night one and night two. Let's talk about the options that are not included with your cruise fare. First is JWB Steakhouse, and I have to say, on both of my sailings, I thought the food here was excellent. Seating in the steakhouse is very limited, so if you want to be sure you can make a reservation, I would highly recommend that you purchase the License to Chill package. This add-on package is $299 per couple or $169 if you are sailing solo. The License to Chill package comes with many different perks, including dinner and two brunches at the JWB Steakhouse. It's well worth it in my opinion. I did an entire video on the License to Chill package and I will link it at the end if you want to check it out. If you don't have the License to Chill package, you can make a reservation at the Steakhouse based on availability, but it will cost you $49 per person. Now let's take a look at the dinner and the brunch menu at the Steakhouse.
moving on to the a la carte options, and these are not included with your cruise fare. First is Frank and Lola's Pizzeria. We tried the pizza on this cruise and it was pretty darn good. You get a 14 inch pie for right around $15 and here are the options. Frank and Lola's has a cheese pizza, a pepperoni pizza, and a sausage pizza. They also have a barbecue chicken pizza and that has barbecue pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, roasted corn, red onions, and cilantro. Next is a spicy Hawaiian, and that comes with red sauce, fresh pineapple, ham, jalapenos, and mozzarella cheese. Then, of course, on the Margaritaville at Sea, they have a margarita pizza, and that comes with garlic oil, fresh mozzarella, Roma tomatoes, and sweet basil. Then there's a white spinach pizza, and that has garlic oil, ricotta, mozzarella, and parmesan, spinach, and Roma tomatoes. And finally, we have Frank's Pie, or a meat lover's pizza, and that comes with red sauce, mozzarella, parmesan, pepperoni, ham, sausage, and bacon. And right next to Frank and Lola's is the Margaritaville Coffee Shop, where you can purchase specialty coffees. And finally, we have the five o'clock somewhere bar. This is a really cool space at the back of the ship. And this is where you can purchase things like nachos, tacos, and burgers from 2 p.m. until 2 a.m. The menu includes chicken wings. You can choose from Korean barbecue, Caribbean jerk, or buffalo. They also have ahi tuna nachos and conch fritters. And all of these items are $11.99. Then we move on to the burgers. The first one is the five o'clock burger. This comes with grilled ham, American cheese, an over easy egg, and mayo. Then they have the barbecue burger. That has pulled pork, cheddar cheese, barbecue sauce, pickles, lettuce, barbecue mayo, and coleslaw. And then next is the nacho burger. That comes with chili, cheddar cheese, queso, grilled jalapenos, lettuce, guacamole, pico de gallo, and tortilla strips. And finally, they have tacos. You can choose from pork, or fish. So those are the dining options on board the Margaritaville at Sea Paradise. As I said, we had a really nice sailing and I did notice quite a few improvements around the ship. I don't think the ship was quite ready when we first sailed on it, but it seems like a lot of the issues have been corrected and everyone on board seemed to be having a really great time. While I was on board, I did get a couple things for you guys. I bought these. These are new and unused, of course. And these are booze in the blender drink holders. I'm going to be giving both of these away, so if you would like to enter, simply leave a comment below and tell me your favorite Jimmy Buffett song. The only requirements are you have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to reside in the United States because I have to pay for shipping. Let me show you them up close. It says booze in the blender and then it has the little Margaritaville at sea logo. They're very, very cute. They even have the little blender Sorry, just, just cut that out. I hope you liked this video. If you would like to talk travel with me a little bit longer, I will link two of my previous Margaritaville videos at the end. Until next time, I hope you have happy and safe travels. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. Bye.